Hello and welcome back ladies and gents to the Crooked Man. Last time we had um, coffee saying help me and the TV told us to look at the sink and then this thing in here told us to look under the bed but now we're going to go look at the, talk to the landlady. And now it's pretty good because I know some things but I don't know all of it. Hello! Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Hey, Damis. I just wanted to ask something, you see? It's about about the room I'm in. Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm. Well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You didn't know where he went. I never heard that, no. Really? Just up and left out of the blue. Oh, I can't, just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants if you like. No, no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. Alrighty. Sorry I wasn't very useful. <laughs> man about my age. I can only wonder. Oh well, I'll get back to my room. Dun 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 dun. Go back to the room. Dun 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 dun. Oh, darn. There's footy prints. They go to the crack in the wall. Hello, crack in the wall. Why are there tracks on the floor? They lead to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Yeah, poo. I'm just kidding. Got a brass key. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here. So, I wonder where... I don't know. This guy's voice. Kids' voices. Mirror writing. TV turn on the coffee. <laughs> it's like a poltergeist or something. But, I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? I'd care if there were ghosts here. Wouldn't much care if they haunted me or killed me either. Hmm, that's sad. That's sad, David. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. Was the man who lived here like... Or what was the man who lived here like? Whatever. Did this stuff happen when he was here? I don't know. Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Sleepy time. What? Why? Where is that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Ah, it came from in here! Radio, what's... Why is this in Not mention... Not to mention turning on by itself. Hmm. There's something on this paper here. It's an address. Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? Got a picture with an address. Time to go back to bed. Oh, oh dang. I am waiting for you. Uh, 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 I am waiting for you? What, why? What did? How and when did it? Uh. Ah! <laughs> it's so funny. Just that noise, though. Not all the rest of it. I just feel like, wow. <laughs> okay. So you sleep well last night? Sorry, you had to sleep on the couch. <gasps> nah. I should be sorry for coming over so late. No, nah, I wasn't expecting it, so... But, don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look so hot. Or too hot. Oh, uh, there's no particular reason, or maybe I felt like intruding into a newly one's love nest. Hey, why are you? Ha, <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Seriously, though. You can tell me if anything happens, okay? 
I'll do whatever I can for you. All right, heh. <laughs> Glad to have a buddy who looks out for his friends. Oh, shoot, I push a button. Oh, yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about that Shirley thing. I told her to back off for that. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it, it's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is, I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, all right? I know you've got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. Yay! As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital and a girl I wanted to... And the girl I wanted to marry ran for me. Man, don't be such a sissy. <laughs> you keep up that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. Ha, well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet, send a postcard. Yay! Breakfast ready, Paul. David will be eating too. No, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. No, oh, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. There. <laughs> Looks like this address is in the mountains. About a five-hour drive. Dang. <laughs> that's a long time. Did the former tenant go here? I just wanted to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. I'll go right now. <laughs> I can't stand this place anyway. Prologue. David's room. End. Alright. So, I've already played this up to that point at the top. So, this will be a new data. So I'm going to put it over here. The way I don't have any problem saving over it, so it'll be data 5. We spent 20 minutes. So, let's go on to the next one. Because I don't want to make this only a 7 minute episode. That'd be kind of weird. I don't, I don't like it. So, we'll go the whole, f what, fif 14, 15 I usually go. Jeez, it's gotten dark. This, this place, no doubt. Huge place. Looks like a hotel. Would he be here? Guess I'll have to check. Let's say a faded board. Hotel Ruhenheim. Ruhenheim. Okay. Giving you a serene stay. Nice. Hello. Hotel register. I don't remember exactly where to go, so this part will have a little bit of walking around. There's something on the shelf. Treasure hunt. Me. Dear Mom and Dad, Treasure Hunt. I guess some kid staying here drew this. Ha! Sure, I'll look for your treasure. Just there's empty. Okay, got a text message. I'll just ignore it for right now. Okay, and I know where to go for this. So we gotta go up here. This one? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna look under this table. Hello, table. I'm gonna be really happy when we get past this one where I don't know what's going on. Yeah, something's under the table. I found a little key. Yay! There's a paper beside it. You found the treasure. Congrats. Now we just have to find where the gold key is. Gold key. Not in here. We gotta go in there later, then. There's a scrap from a notebook on the dresser. Found no a scrap. It was our special place. She loved the pretty room with this big mirror. With its big mirror. She would wonder what to wear for dinner. But now it's just me. I thought it might help to come here, but it didn't. There's only emptiness. The rule on the page is not just the one from my room. So the former tenant did come here. I wonder if he's still here. So he got dumped, huh? The note at home did mention that. In our special place, he came here with her. So, could he be? Where could he be? I don't know. Ah, there we go. There we go. Key. 
Key to 109. All right. In a book, Cry of the Unseen. Do you consider yourself kind? You don't get to decide that. It's decided in the unconscious. Shut up, phone. Even if you believe you are cold-hearted, you may be warm and emotional inside. And they will sniff it out. They will be lured by your kindness, and they will drag you away. Creepy. Some kind of a cult, but I bet Paul would love this. He's way too into the stuff for his age. And then we're gonna move this chair. Hello, chair, come here. What up? Thank you. Reach that thing up there now. Now I can get what's on the dresser. Got wire cutters. Alright. Then we wanna go back up where that piano was. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> Jeez. Uh. I'm sorry, I just, just came in and the piano looks so nice. I am sorry I yelled at you. I'm not staff at the hotel or anything. <laughs> Who are you then? I'm David, sort of. I'm sort of looking for a guy. What about you? I'm Sissy. Huh, Sissy, then. What brings you here? Could be dangerous, you know. <laughs> I stayed at this hotel once, but I forgot something important, so I came back to get it. I see. Did you find it? No, I'm still looking. It's just this little box decorated with rubies, but I'm not leaving until I find it. Right, well, again. <laughs> Sorry for shy. I'll probably be here a while longer so I can help you find it. R really? That would be weird. Okay, please help. Just do me a favor, too. If you see a man about my age, would you tell me? Okay. Hi. <laughs> I'll be going then. Um, David, you be careful, too. Very nice. Guess we'll go use the wire cutters and then end the episode. Because. It's getting toward, towards there. Man, what am I doing shouting at girls? I feel like the shitty one here. Oh, <laughs> It's this door, I'm pretty sure. Wire around the doorknob. Cut the wire. Cut the wire with the cutters. Okay. <laughs> so it's good. A notebook. The door in room 107, bathroom needs fixing. There's a key on this page. Got the key to room 107. Four chapters of the book have seriously gone missing. Should you find the pages, please report to the owner. That's important for later. It's locked. What's this? 108 through 115. So we gotta go to the other side. <laughs> Keys painted over, won't fit. Keys painted over, won't fit. Keys painted over, won't fit. Oh. It's going on. Yeah. That journal mentioned something about door repairs. Oh, shoot. I didn't go discover that door yet. I'm pretty sure this is a code door. Yep. Okay, well, um, since I don't remember what door it is, I'm just gonna look around. Oh, cute toe. It's this door. <laughs> There's no door now. Huh? I hear something. Something locked in there, I should find a way to open it. Okay. So we know where the doorknob is, so in the next episode we will go get the doorknob. So that's it for now. So um see you later ladies and gents. <laughs>